Hi everyone, welcome back to my CSS tutorials today. In this video, we're going to study the how can we use the alpha property of CSS. So I have given the heading of the, uh, the CSS property. This is the first page and uh, we can see the alpha. What is the alpha? The alpha is, a, for example, if you're writing a div or you're typing a text on your HTML page. And for example, if your text has an alpha, like it goes over out of your page of your div, then you have given it uh, also you have given the fixed height to your uh, to your width to your div then it goes out of the div then this kind of things just happen like see on this on over here you can see that we have the extra text that is going out of the box and we have given the fixed height to a box and but it's going outside the box so you can see there are four types of overflow the number one is hidden the hidden means that for example uh, if you like for example if these things is going outside the outside the box that it will not show it will just hide the text and so crawl so crawl means for example if you if the if the text is going outside the box then you, it will adjust the whole text inside the box and in, let the user to scroll the text and auto auto is a definitely an automatic property that for, for example if uh, we, if the text is going uh, horizontally outside or vertically outside then it will assign the whole text an auto property that will help you to to scroll the or to scroll the screen automatically the vertically and horizontally too the number the fourth one is the visible visible means that there is a text in the in the div box and uh, you just don't want to you just don't want to it yeah like for example if you just want it to be visible however it's outside the box but you want it to be represent or you want it to be show that for example you just use the visible property so these are the properties so the, the number last is the types of the properties the number one is also we have discussed below we have already discussed it the number two uh, number number two that, that are already left the number one is also x as i have drawn the diagram the arrow shape two over here can you see the arrow it's like horizontal uh yeah it's horizontal the overflow x always hides or represents or works on the works on the vertical on the horizontal lines however the y overflow does work on the vertical lines for example you have a page the page uh overflow x will hide the uh, of uh, the uh, the uh, you know the vertical bar and the y overflow will hide the uh, the uh, you know what we call the vertical bar the uh, so which we just to call the whole website so i hope that you got my point let's move to our, our coding page this is my coding page and you in the screen right now it's like this let's give it some css property i will resume my my page and over here i have given it an id the box let's call the box over here i'm gonna call box property in the style and over here i'm just gonna uh, give it the width width to 50 pixels and the height and the height must be 250 pixels here we go and just a border and a border yeah two pixels uh, no no two pixels no it's not let's give it the three pixels three pixels we need a solid border and the color must be black so here we go finally we have done this if we value uh, my color and my other things is also we're giving like for example if i do want to add some height then it will go automatically all the all the properties because i have installed the vs extensions if you want to you install the vs extension then you can also see me that video that will help you the more that will help you to download the most important uh, extensions of the CSS. i'm gonna just save it just save it i have uh just gonna save it and now i'm gonna reload it can you see that it's going out of the box this works so fine so here we can see the live demo let's move toward the experiments things so the first property of our low we do have is um let's open the page that one yeah here we go the first property is hidden let's apply the one let's apply this one and i'm gonna just reload it can you see the text which we had in the below is not showing anymore because we can, it has been hidden so let's apply the second property that is scroll so as we are i only discussed that scroll will allow you to scroll the whole text Look, how cool can you see it so it will give you the property of scrolling uh move toward the next one the next one was 
um, auto, yeah, auto, auto will allow the, if, if you have a text automatically, like vertical text is going, it will go the vertical. If it's not going horizontal, then it will not, it will not give the option of the vertical. Uh, let's try this. Okay. Uh, I will not reload because I'll show you the experiment. We have given the property auto. This will, this will just remove this line. When I will reload, can you see how cool? Like if you have those tags that must be horizontal, then it gives the auto of horizontal. If we do not have anything that can be horizontal, then it will not give. This is how it would work. Let's move toward the next one. The next one is the visible. Yeah, the visible is sold by default. Like if you do not want to hide, if you want to show everything, if you want it, either it's going out of the box, then doesn't matter. It will show. So this is these are the properties. Now let's supply the next one. We have applied the whole of properties of overflow. Let's move toward the X and Y. If I have given the X property, let's see overflow X. Well, nothing happened because overflow X deals with the vertical line. If I put an image like if I put an image, yeah, the image, let's find the source. Uh, if I put an image of like, for example, this one image, this one is a PNG file, one.png. Okay, let's let's add this one. If I add one.png and we are fine, we are going to put this image. Can you see it just didn't get over here? We have to, we, do we have, yes, we have included this image inside it. Uh, okay, fine, fine. We need to, what to do? Uh, let's see if, if ha it has given, it has not. I think that has gone. Uh, we have to, yeah, we have to give some height and width. Let's put that. Well, we do not need to. Let's do the w hidden property. Can we? I think we cannot see that because the image is so long. Oh, that that hide the property the CSS. Uh, uh, yeah, we have hided the image too. Let's do this to hidden. Yeah, hidden. Let's apply this one and let's reload it again. Can you see how amazing it is? We cannot. Uh, well, uh, hey, you know what what has happened? It has hidden the overflow X like the overflow x has been hidden we cannot scroll it to here we cannot scroll it horizontally if i do add it auto you will see the results now you'll see a magic can you see the image can also be scrolled in the hidden we could not scroll the image well now we can easily so this is how it all will work then let's move toward the next one uh if i do add um, visible, we have done auto, we have done hidden, we have done scroll. Okay, it will give us the both the horizontal and vertical because scroll works automatically, it gives us all both. Doesn't matter if you have the things or not. Let's apply the Y. If I do Y, then it doesn't matter because we have already, we have already the Y thing. This is the X and this is the Y. Let's move to word if I do this to hidden. If I do this to hidden, will you will see. Can you see that we cannot scroll it vertically because we have applied the Y to be hidden. If we have done this, let's move toward the next one. We have done the scroll. Let's do this to auto. Well, it will give us because it does know that we need to have to scroll it this much and this much. That's how we can see. Let's do the visible one. Visible yeah we have saved it and let's reload it just visible just take the whole things out of the box can you see the results visible just takes the whole thing by default if it is like there's no property will be applied it will be as it is so we have run the whole properties of cs overflow and we could learn we could easily understand that how can you use the overflow property for our web pages i hope that you like my video if you do really like it then subscribe it and see you next time take care bye bye